Islam, it is um, September the 9th, 2020, Dwayne Bay. I'm um, still at Burger King. Um, it's interesting. James, the manager, just said, do your job and go home. I was just, this morning, I was at um, American Extended Stay, of course. That's where we domicile at. And I was spoken to, speaking to Imani about how uh, when I come to Burger King, I just do my job and go home. I don't know anyone personally here, and I am just do my job and go home. So it's interesting to hear him say those same words. And he just told me to go home for no reason. And dealing with the um, me tearing my glove, and I don't know why. Like I said, someone keeps saying Burger King outside and around American Extended Stay, or brother, I love you, military. So I was talking to um, Imani about this this morning because he's off work today. Dwayne Baffle Bay, hold on my phone. Islam, I'm well. I'm a little upset right now. No, uh, um, I'm upset because um, I was just uh, told to get off the clock 45 minutes early from my time. You know, I don't work Mondays anymore. Ever since um, I told the call the owners about the, one of the uh, one of the other um, managers um, addressing me as Mo. So I don't. They uh, that following week I was moved from Mondays, and I don't. And I'm not. I, I wasn't told why I was removed from Mondays. I was just removed from Mondays. So um, I was just told um, I applied for unemployment because I was removed from Mondays, um, and I don't work there. I don't work on, on Mondays anymore. So I went ahead and applied for unemployment. Um, so today, um, James, um, he's um, considered black male. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the one that kept, yeah, I told you he would say I'm um, running around the corner or walking off the front line like I'm doing it purposely. I mean, I'll be washing my hands or, or I have yell out. Y yeah, like I was saying, irrational. Like, what, what is he talking about? Well, he just told me to get off the clock. I tore my gloves. I was approximately 10, I counted the steps, approximately 10, sec 10 um, steps away from the, um, from the sink where the gloves are. I tore my gloves. I'm expediting food. He told me to expedite the food. And he said, um, he he said I tore my glove. Um, if you're gonna keep tearing your glove, you're gonna have to get off the clock. So he made it sound like as though, uh, or implication that I'm tearing my gloves purposely just so I can walk approximately 10 steps away to a sink where gloves are to um, wash my hands or or even actually, actually all I had to do is put on another glove um, because um, I had just washed my hand and because it's easy to tear these gloves because we have to put tape on the bag right we have to put tape on the bag and plus we do delivery orders and we have to seal the bag with tape so you tear your gloves I don't you know and what I do I try to um, tell them or yell or you know but anyways it only it doesn't take but a few moments if you peep around the corner or call it you can see what the employee is doing and this is what, yeah, Birkin told us to, you know, they have the, the um, notes still up, wear gloves. So everybody's supposed to be wearing gloves. Even though I still see some without gloves, but, you know, everybody's supposed to be wearing gloves still. So, yeah, he, yeah, so he told me to get off the clock 45 minutes early. Uh, he said, that's why. 
I, I, and I showed, I, he wouldn't even lick it the whole, I was like trying to show him the whole. I said, I told my glove and you told me to expedite food. I took, you know. So, um, it was interesting. Well, uh, you know, it was odd, you know, even today. Yeah, it was so odd because um, I know, you know, I need the 45 minutes. I had, I'm applying for, I applied for unemployment because of me not working on Mondays anymore. You know, I don't know any of them personally. And I don't, I don't even try to have a conversation with them on a personal level. I just try to respect their boundaries and do my job. Right. Yeah. Hold on one second. Cause I'm um, definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm c conversing with Dwayne still. Bafo Bay. And, and, and so, yeah. Well, uh, well, I always, I mean, as a more shamaric, well, today I thought the conversation was odd, um, a little, I mean, I'm, I'm, you're right to think about um, how can someone, you know, just think about what can lead someone to um, behave irrational, but he wasn't here when that conversation had, um, um, what, what I remember, well, I don't know, Khalid was like saying something, like I was saying that the customer um, needs a drink from Burger King, and and um, I think he re he rephrased it about Burger King or something like that. And I said the customer um, needs a uh, drink from Burger King, and he said something about you're not a part of Burger King or something like that. I, I heard him and Miss Phillips were having a conversation. I said I am a employee of Burger King, working for Burger King Corporation. I'm not a corporate citizen. I remember I don't you know they were going back and forth. And I, it, that wasn't saying I um, I represent Burger King because I'm a corporate citizen. I mean I'm not a corporate citizen, but I am a employee naturalized but I am not a corporate citizen because Birkin's a corporation so I'm not, you, I'm not a, a, a person a, a robot that you um, that I yes exactly I'm not a robot that you're giving money to um, or a computer that you're giving money to at Birkin I am a natural being exactly exactly I am a natural um, being naturalized being that's um, in, um, working for Burger King I'm not a corp I'm not a corporate citizen I'm naturalized so um, that doesn't mean you know I'm here to so I always say this is Burger King as a company Islam is right so uh, but I don't think that uh, he wasn't I don't even think he was here when that conversation when they were him and uh, Khalid Muhammad yeah he's the one that prayed, uh, sprayed pepper spray or mace yeah, yeah. I don't even think um, he he was here when I don't know, but anyway. Um, so yeah, he still works here. He still he, he still works here. Yeah. He um. So they yeah. But that is, yeah yeah. He's the one that I talked to about cursing cursing me on the um, front line in front of customers too. Carl, the owner. So yeah, the manager, Miss Phillips, and him were having a conversation about it, and they, you know, I don't know. So what I, if the thing is, I, you know, I, tr I tried to, you know, I'm like, I tore my glove. I'm just, customers have complained. They complain. They, they like you. I heard them say that that person just touched her hair. Can you tell her to change her glove? Yeah, they complain. They exactly. I, yeah, they were. Yes, they come. And so, you know, here I am. I'm, you know. It's, and if you don't pay, right, you don't pay because of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's the same, yeah, the same thing. It's like, what, yeah, what exactly? That it doesn't make sense to me. I'm showing him the whole. I'm sure, I was like, I'm, and I even show him. I said, I'm only a few moments to, to change my glove. It, exactly. So that what I'm trying to say, I mean, even though, I mean, I'm not Burger King. I am an employee, a co-worker. I'm an employee at Burger King. But... Burger King needs customers, and I'm supposed to give cu great customer service, and I'm a part of building that company, giving great customer service. So I don't think, if I'm going to change my glove because I got a hole in my glove, that shows that I care about my job, and not only that, I, under I have some form of understanding about spreading viruses, so I'm trying not to do that because obviously Burger King wants us to wear gloves. So why, exactly, so why did he tell me to get off the clock? It, because and, and, and as though I would purposely, purposely take um, put a hole in my glove. I mean, it's just I mean, like earlier, a customer was like, um, 
I was she she we were having a conversation just talking just a moment while I was um, taking her order and she was like um, we was, she gave me too much money. She, he, yeah, she gave me too much money. I said, you gave me too much money. It's only 11.24, and she gave me over 11.24. And I gave her back the change. At first, I didn't think I had it right. I said, yeah, you, I think you gave me too much money. She like, and she thought I was wrong. And, I, and she said, what are you doing? And, um, and, and then I said, no, you gave me too much money. And James was like, answered her question, wasting time. And I said, okay, why did, where did that come from? I'm not wasting time. And she actually gave me too much change. I gave her back her change. And I said, yeah, I'm like, okay, because he had us. I want to, you know, where that come from? Right, so, um, Okay, I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little, I'm a lot upset because of 45 minutes. Yeah, well, you know, it's interesting, like I said, because um, you, um, you shouldn't, I mean, if you're here as an employee, I've never sprayed pepper spray. I try to call if I have to call in for late. I try to do what I supposed to do as a job. Now, um, I'm on a different diet. Imani Gray by and I both are on a different diet than um, um, we, you know, we on our own schedule and we eat the, according to the chemistry of our bodies. Um, and that, that's, you know, but otherwise I come into Burger King, which is a corporation, to work and then I leave. Don't know, I don't know any of them. We don't know any one person in Annapolis. Don't know any of them personally. So I don't understand why he was why he tell me to get off the clock for 45 minutes early. And I have a hole, and I'm showing him the hole in, on my glove, in my glove. You know, it, that doesn't make sense. I mean, uh, Phyllis told me not to stand, but give her six, give her six feet or six inches or something like that. Six feet, I think she said, and that's when it all sort of. Well, early, well, I had, you know, I had a void. Um, I told Miss Phyllis about it. I don't, I've never done a void, and I haven't had a void in a while. But I told Miss Phyllis about it, and she told me I didn't have to sign the void. And um, I, but I looked behind it. It seemed like she was voiding the wrong ticket. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I only had one void. I haven't had a void in a very long time. I can't remember last time, but I only had one void today. And um, and I just went from there. And um, I just she told me I said, do I need to sign it? But I looked like she was voiding the wrong ticket than what I showed her. And um, she took the entire register. She took the register with her. So um, and that register was counted down. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, um, yeah. I stopped talking because um, the manager James just came out talking. So I don't know who he was talking to. He just started saying, "Play games." I'm going to show you how I play games. And nobody's out with him. He just walked out speaking about playing games. He he's about six four, black male. He's the one that said, I asked him, was he in the Army? He said, um, he used to be in the Army. I, I think that's what he said. Like I, yeah, I still hear them say brother. I don't know why. The same thing I hear in American is this day. Some of them, I can't tell. It sounds like they're saying brother. Not like that day when Miss Phyllis was calling me a B-I-T-C-H and everything. And um, like she was ready to fight. But it, it sounds like that's what they say. I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, let me. Oh, my minutes are okay on my cell phone. My minutes are okay. I have, um, yeah. 
it's Imani Imani minutes is uh, shorter than, there yeah they're shorter than mine It, it did. Um, um, I'm glad that. Yeah, I'm glad it thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did sound threatening. I don't know who he's talking to. I don't know him. I don't know Miss Phyllis person. I don't know them personally. I mean, I, why would he be? You know, I don't know why would he sound like he threatened a woman. I don't know who he was. I don't know if he was. I don't know who he is talking to. I have no idea. A lady coming into Burger King with a mask that says Black Lives Matter. Uh, she looks to be African American. She has on a mask that says Black Lives Matter. That's the first mask I've seen today. Usually um, somebody come in once a day with a um, mask on that says Black Lives Matter. And a UPS truck just drove by. She's asking for an application. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 I'll wait for you. I hear, I hear you doing something. I'll wait. I'm, I'm okay. I'm getting ready to leave now. I guess I need to call him and ask that why and what's the purpose of that. Because that was even brought up before from Carl or um, the owner saying that some about um, about me walking away from the front. And I'm like, I'm not walking away from the front line. I'm actually, I'm doing my gloves. I didn't even yell. It's a lot of times saying I'm washing my hands, changing my gloves. I'm not walking to do absolutely nothing. I'm working. Exactly. Like, um. At American Ascendance Day, um, I told you this is the exact same. You know, like I said, I, why would some? Why would Burger King? I don't know. I mean, it could be anybody saying Burger King at American Ascendance Day, just like anybody could say military, Islam. So anyway, or anyone could say brother, or I love you, like they begging, like an animal, literally like an animal, saying I love you like an animal. So it could be anybody. I don't know. But um, I just, you know, what he just said, I just spoke those words this morning, you know, how I'll come in and do my job too. Imani, I was talking about it. I was like, I come in, do my job and leave. Those words I spoke exactly this morning. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.